Hammer time. Oh! 7.45. I love your excitement when it comes to this time of year because the worst show season, yes. good movies, and The Post, which did get shut out at the Golden Globes last weekend, still getting some great buzz. Oh, this is Oscar buzz at its finest, and uh, this is a top 10 edition of Hammers, I tell you, because uh, two of these movies cracked my top 10 of 2017. They've been out in other markets, but we're only just getting them now in certain Canadian cities. So The Post is a timely tale from Steven Spielberg that looks at the true events around the Pentagon Papers. Basically, the Washington Post and the New York Times were in this race to publish these documents that were leaked that were basically done by an analyst who was studying the Vietnam War, and the results were anything but pretty. So Ben Bradley, uh, Tom Hanks plays him. He was the longtime editor of the Washington Post. Catherine Graham was America's first female newspaper publisher. She's portrayed by Meryl Streep. Take a look. You know, the only couple I knew that both Kennedy and LBJ wanted to socialize with was you and your husband, and you owned the damn paper. Well, since the way things worked, politicians and the press, they trusted each other so they could go to the same dinner party and drink cocktails and tell jokes while there was a war hey, raging in Vietnam. I don't know what we're talking about. I, I'm not protecting Lyndon. No, you got his former Secretary of Defense, Robert McNamara, the man who commissioned this study. He's I'm one of about a dozen party him. guests out on your I'm not protecting any of them. I'm protecting the paper. There you have it. Powerhouse players, we have Tom Hanks, Meryl Streep. How does Steven Spielberg put his signature touch on this movie? He's just got such an impeccable eye. I love his camera movements. It's so fluid, it's so stable, and it's just eye-catching, especially the first scene where we're introduced to Catherine Graham and uh, Ben Bradley. They sort of meet for this um, this uh, breakfast meeting, and uh, it's just a sensational scene, and it's a bit of a slow burn in terms of how the plot unfolds. Ensemble cast here is incredible. It's a who's who. I don't have time to get into all of them, but you'll definitely recognize a lot of faces here. It does get a little melodramatic at times, and it does embellish some of the details for dramatic effect, but this is a prestige picture at every level. I mean, you've got Josh Singer co-writing the script. He won an Oscar in 2015 for Spotlight. You've got the veteran uh, craftsmanship of Steven Spielberg, plus the excellent platonic relationship between Graham and Bradley, portrayed brilliantly by Streep and Hanks. And despite this movie being about men uh, when it comes to journalism and politics, it's a very uh, feminist approach to the movie as well. There's a female empowering message here, but it's not like it's buried. It's just very subtly done. So I thought um, Spielberg was very sly and the uh, the script was uh, was very subtle when it came to approaching those kind of themes. How many hammers would you give the post? One of the best of the year. It was my number seven of 2017. Four out of five. Ooh, okay, yeah. good start for us. Now this one, Woo! Daniel Day-Lewis, last film ever, he's saying. Yeah, okay, so this is apparently Daniel Day-Lewis's last role before acting retirement. P.T. Anderson is the director. They work together on There Will Be Blood, for which Daniel Day-Lewis won his second Oscar, he would go on to win a third for Lincoln. This is an opulent, regal, brilliant masterpiece that is not to be missed. And he plays Reynolds Woodcock, a renowned London dressmaker. And this takes place just after World War II. And it is a fascinating gothic romance with some comedy even sprinkled in, even though it's darkly comic. Uh, he's basically hit a creative stumbling block. He's looking for some inspiration. He finds that in the form of a young woman who becomes his lover and muse, and they begin a very tumultuous relationship. This is a virtually flawless film. I mean, P.T. Anderson I've loved since Boogie Nights. I mean, he gave us Punch Drunk Love, The Master, um, Magnolia, all kinds of amazing films. There will be blood. And this is just like another notch in his incredible career and uh, commanding performances, mesmerizing visuals. This script is so scintillating. It really is a testament to the power and mystery and sheer beauty of film. It's not, it's not merely a movie. It is a transcendent film experience. And it burrowed in my mind and my psyche and lingered there for weeks, it, it's still uh, a very uh, top of my mind. So it was number three on my 2017 picks of, uh, of the year as well. If this is it for Daniel Day-Lewis, how many hammers? He's going out with a bang. Five out of five. Great weekend for movies. You got it. Okay. Hammers are done.